hello guys welcome back to the channel and today we will be doing our foundation plan now before i get into the video i would love to say thank you thank you thank you to all my subscribers 203 subscribers i am very grateful secondly i would love to give a shout out to um pogash kiweng kaweng i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly but he dropped a comment in my comment section and um he said very good please make sure about sound quality and i really appreciate that comment because um i used my bandicam recorder for um to record my audio as well clearly the bandicam recorder is crap so today i'll be doing a voiceover so you guys can hear me clearer and you can understand better and the sound quality can be much better so thank you again for that comment guys please like share and comment subscribe and i really need your comment i really need your advice because this will help me um build my channel will help me get better as you guys are the audience right with that being said let's get into the video what is a foundation plan now when you hear foundation you think about the core the most important part of something the strongest part of something yes all that is correct so a foundation plan is basically the core of the house basically it shows all the nitty-gritty the columns the stiffeners the wall the dimensions the locations of the rooms and so on now why do we need a foundation plan we need a foundation plan because as i said before foundation is the core if a build if a business is built and a poor foundation then the upbringing of that business will obviously be poor so that's the same concept for our building if our foundation is poor then we the building will not be able to withstand like natural disasters earthquakes so that is why the the foundation plan is so important and that is what we'll be doing today now to the main part of this video how do we construct this foundation plan in autocad let's get into it just that we can all be clear if you have never seen a foundation plan before this is what we will be doing so as you can see we have the internal walls and we have the external walls so all these walls have internal and external walls so first thing that i want you guys to go and go ahead and do is um copy the floor plan i want you to copy the floor plan because the floor plan has all the walls and all the rooms so basically that is where we'll be um constructing constructing our foundation from and my laptop is currently frozen okay so now that we have our um floor pan cop copied somewhere else we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete all the furnitures um all the dimensions the doors the windows just all of those because the foundation is just the foundation you need nothing else in it except for the walls do not delete the walls so just go ahead and delete um the furnitures so just highlight everything and go ahead and delete and just to see properly you as i always told you you can zoom up just to ensure that you're deleting the right things.
now that we have deleted all the furnitures all the dimension all these broken walls we're going to extend them to each other so once you extend the one piece of wall it's going to go to the other wall so let's get to that let's type extend and start extending our walls now that we have our line we have our walls extended to each other we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our external walls so the external walls is walls that are on the outside of our internal walls so let's first focus on the outside so let me go back to the original join as you can see there are lines on the inside in here and there are lines on the outside so well, how are we going to get these walls? We're going to offset the um, these walls, like the ones on the outside, like this one that I highlighted, to 150. So type in the command offset and we need them 150. And we're just going to go ahead and offset all these lines on the outside 150. now it is obvious that we it's quite difficult to distinguish the external walls that we just offset so what i am going to do i'm going to go ahead and going to change the property of the external wall so i'm going to select um, one any line that you would like but one of them that you just did and go to by layer let's put in a different color probably a shocking one yellow and let's put it in hidden and we're going to select match property and we're just going to go to all these lines on the outside and we're going to match property just so that they can be easy to distinguish when you want to connect them with the other lines all right we are almost there so what we're going to do now we're just going to connect these lines as you can see some of them are intersecting and some of them they don't meet so we need to um let them meet at all corners so at the corners that they're intersecting obviously we are going to trim those corners so like this one as you can see it intersects right here so we can just go ahead and trim there and all the corners that it intersects that's what we're going to be doing and then after we um have trimmed all the corners that they intersect we're going to go ahead and stretch the lines so that they can meet each other so after this we're going to stretch and um extend so yes i think that's all for trimming not here right that's all for trimming 
so I went ahead off camera and I connected the lines so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same thing on the inside so basically for example this right here all these lines that I highlighted um, we'll have to offset them on the inside and then these ones on the outside we're also going to offset them so I'm going to show you guys what I mean so let's select offset and just as before 150 now for right here this is a closet now we're going to offset this on the inside offset it on the why is this not selecting on the inside just like that and if it's getting confusing to you you can change the property and trim it so that's just what we're going to keep doing all these internal walls we're going to just make a offset of them as you can see And a great way to not confuse yourself is that um, you will notice that as you go along these rooms that are in line, these lines um, line up with each other. If you notice what I mean. So here it is looking like it's cooking. Okay. Now we have the walls. Do we have the internal parts? Okay, so we have these walls, and then we have the wall there. And then I went ahead and I finished it up, and I um changed the property. Last thing that you need, well, second to last thing that you need, because obviously you're going to put in about the dimensions, and you need your stiffeners, right? So just the last last thing we're going to. Um, we're going to offset all these lines on the outside so when you enter the house enter out there the living room these lines we need to offset them also and get them like these yellow ones <clears throat> all right so let's go ahead offset 150 and start offsetting your lines all around now all throughout the video we um we have been calling um this red this yellow i don't know colors this yellow um hidden line lines we be call it walls and so on but the correct name is actually footing so basically the footing um is the slab or the rebar i don't know if you ever like been on a construction site where you have those steels so the footing is basically the part that is in contact with the soil most and it actually prevents um like settling and so on so this is basically your foundation plan you need to put in the stiffeners these are basically this this st stiffeners and it keeps the building sturdy you put it in your corners well not all the corners because if you put them like to like for example in this corner and this corner the building will be too heavy and the building can actually sink so put them in the corners but just make sure that they're not in the corners that are close together so let's go on the finished product like right here and right here but as you can see as i go over here you don't see me put it like i put one right here but there's none right here so you know they have um stiffeners that are different um shapes so this is a t you have this one which is another shape that i don't know of this is another t they're shape different you can rotate them so what you can do is just 
draw them on the outside and then you can copy them to each corner if they need to be rotated you rotate them and that is that next thing that we're going to be doing is this which this is the front elevation we're going to be doing that next but thank you for watching the foundation plan please like comment share and subscribe lastly in the foundation plan you need to put in your dimension to the select dimension and just you know select the the corners and just basically put in your dimensions that's all that is left so your stiffeners and your dimension once again thank you for supporting my channel like comment share subscribe tell your auntie sister brother if you telling cousin sister nephew if you telling auntie cousin sister stay blessed give less my love you know?